Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Scroll to Learn. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe and share with your friends and family. In this video, we are going to learn about properties of integers under addition. Under addition, we have five properties. That is, closure property, commutative property, associative property, additive property identity, and additive inverse. Let us learn in detail about all these properties. The first property is closure property. In this, if two integers are there, a and b, the sum of a and b is also an integer. Let's understand this with an example. 5 is an integer. 5 is an integer. 8 is also an integer. Suppose this is one integer and this is another integer. When you add this, what we get? We get 13. 13 is also an integer. So, we can see that if A is an integer and B is an integer, the sum of A and B is also an integer. This is called as closure property. Let's see one more example. Minus 10. Minus 10 is also an integer. Plus 2. 2 is also an integer. Minus 2 is an integer. 2 is also an integer. When you add these two integers, we get minus 8. Minus 8 is also an integer. Hope you have understood this that when you add two integers, A is an integer and B is also an integer. When you add these two integers, we also get as integers. The second property is commutative property. So in this what happens if A and B are two integers. So when you add A plus B it will be equals to B plus A. A plus B is equals to B plus A. Let understand this with an example. Suppose 4 is, a, 4 is an integer. Plus 3. 3 is also an integer. <coughs> it will be equals to 4 plus 3 is equals to 7. Next, 3 plus 4 is equals to 7. So, what we can understand from this that if you write 4 plus 3 or 3 plus 4, both are equals to 7. So, here this property, commutative property tells us that A plus B is equals to B plus A. We can write like this also. 3 plus 2 is equals to 2 plus 3. Both are equals to 5. So, in commutative property, A plus B is equals to B plus A. Let's take one more example. 5 plus minus 6 is equals to minus 1. Minus 6 plus 5 is equals to minus 1. So, if you write A plus B or write B plus A, both are equals to same number. This is the commutative property. Next property is associative property. So, if three integers are there, A, B and C, so A plus B plus C is equals to A plus B plus C. First, if you add A plus B, then 
whatever you get from this if you add this with c or a plus first add b plus c whatever you get add this with a you get the same result let under let us understand this with an example 2 plus 3 plus 4 or you take 2 plus 3 plus 4 2 plus 3 will be 5 10 plus 4 is equals to 2 right same as it is then 3 plus 4 will be 7 So five plus four is equals to nine. Is equals to seven plus two is also nine. So associative property explains that if a plus b plus c is equals to a plus b plus c. So with this example, we can understand that if you add these two, a plus b first, then add with c or two. Plus, yeah, or a plus, add b plus c first, then add with a. Both are equals to. Both have the same answer. Both are equal. So this is explains by the associative property. Next property is additive identity. For this property, if there is an integer a to this integer, if you add zero, you will get the same integer as a. If you add zero to any integer, you also get the same integer. Let and let us understand this with an example. Minus two. Suppose minus two is an integer. You add zero to this. What we get? We get minus two only. Five is an integer. If you add zero to this, we get. Five. So, id additive identity explains that whatever the integer is there, if you add zero to this, we get the same integer. Next property is additive inverse. If a is an integer, what should be added? To, uh, what should be added to this a so that it becomes additive identity? If you add A to minus a, we get zero. This is called as additive inverse. Let's do. Uh, let's understand this with an example. If three is an integer, so what should we add it to this three so that it becomes zero? If we add minus three to this, what we get? We get zero. to this minus 10 if you add plus 10 we get zero so that means both the integers are additive inverse to each other if a is an integer if you add minus a to this we get zero like 3 is an integer here the same integer you add but in negative form Three is a positive integer. If you add a negative integer of the to it, we get zero. Minus ten is a negative integer. If you add a positive integer to this, we get zero. So this property is additive inverse. Hope you understood all these properties. We have five properties under addition. That is closure property, commutative property, associative property, additive identity, and additive. inverse under closure property we have if you add both the integers we get integer like 5 plus 8 both are integers you add this we get 13 13 is also an integer next is commutative property in commutative property if two integers are there a and b so a plus b will be equals to b plus a like 4 plus 3 is equals to 7 or 3 plus 4 is also equals to 7 Next is associative property. If three integers are there, a, b, and c, so if you add a plus b first and then add c to this, 
will be equals to if you add b plus c first and then add a to this you get the same additive identity next property is additive identity if a is an integer if you add 0 to this we get the same integer like minus 2 is an integer if you add 0 to this we get minus 2 if 5 is an integer if you add 0 to this we get 5 next is additive inverse if a is an integer if you add minus a to this we get 0 like 3 is an integer if you add minus 3 to this it will be 0. Minus 10 is an integer. If you add plus 10 to this, you get 0. So, here in this case, both the integers are additive inverse of each other.